the languages we know shape the thoughts we're able to form. That's something I've always known and have always been interested in and aware of. The project for the new Delta Terminal at LaGuardia looks at linguistic diversity. It started with the Garden of Forked Tongues, the project I did for the Queen's Museum a few years ago, which was looking exclusively at endangered languages that are spoken in the borough of Queens. We started working with Mariam in, in, in 2016 with um, an exhibit at the Queen's Museum, which we were commissioned to, to work on a uh, Mother Tongues of Queens map. This mural in the main hall of the Queen's Museum uh, that, that Mariam did took the language mapping that we had done and made it into this just kind of immersive, compelling visualization of the tongues, literally, I mean, the tongues of Queens. Since uh, this project is being installed at LaGuardia and will be up for at least 30 years. I decided to look at all the languages that are spoken in the New York City area, not only the five boroughs, but also the areas that are kind of most contiguous in New York City and that are served by the airport. New York is probably not just the most linguistically diverse city in the world, but possibly in the history of the world. Part of the challenge of visualizing language is that language moves. It's not something which can be pinned down truly to, to a map. It's something that even when we're not speaking it, language is sort of suffusing our, our minds and to actually visualize it in emotionally compelling, beautiful and sensitive ways. I think that's been at the core of our collaboration with Mariam. So the form that this is going to take uh, on the wall in LaGuardia, it's about 365 square feet and it will be located in baggage claim. What it looks like is a large stormy sky with sort of spheres. They look like clusters of small circles that almost look like kind of planets. These are some of the early test tiles that we um, did to figure out what the stamping might look like. They're engraved, basically debossed, with um, the endonym, the name of that language in its own language and in its own script. I hope people do, you know, get curious about it and, and wonder and look at the plaque and are like, wait, what is this? And then if they want to know more, there'll be the QR code that really answers the question. They'll actually be able to hear a sample of the language being spoken, read something about the wealth of knowledge that we have in this place that comes from our diversity and that comes from the fact that we are a city of immigrants. Approaching it through language, you know, helps us to see diversity not as something that lessens us, but that multiplies us. That's giving us like more and more and more to draw on.